My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children, we are in the presence of the eternal Son in the Holy Eucharist. The presence of the Holy Trinity expressed in the life of the Son who has come down from heaven as the bread of eternal life. Today, as we stand, as we kneel down, as we pray before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, as we are welcoming Him into our hearts today, as we are welcoming Him into our homes, trusting and knowing that it is only in Him alone that we live, that we exist, that we have salvation. Let us listen to a passage from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. Romans 5, verses 1 to 5. Now that we have been put right with God through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He has brought us by faith into His experience of God's grace, in which we now live. And so we boast of the hope we have of sharing God's glory. We also boast of our troubles because we know that trouble produces endurance. Endurance brings God's approval and its approval creates hope. This hope does not disappoint us for God has poured out his love into our hearts by means of the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to us. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children, my dear young generation, St. Paul presents to the people of the people, the Romans, a word of hope, hope placed, established, strengthened, and fortified only in one single person. Because Paul experienced when he was against Christ, when he persecuted the church, when he stood against God's plan in Jesus Christ, he wanted to eliminate everyone. He wanted to eradicate everyone who believed in Christ from the face of the earth. But he understood when he met the risen Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit that there is none 
other than Jesus himself who can give you hope. Now, what is this hope? It goes beyond our desires and expectations. Hope does not belong to us. Hope is of the origin, of God's origin, divine origin. The word hope does not belong to us as human beings because it has the content, it has the origin, it has the destiny, it has the end only in God because God alone is able to accomplish, is able to give that perfection, that fulfillment to what we hope for only in Christ and there are so many ideologies in the world you talk about capitalism you talk about Marxism you talk about Leninism you talk about any other ideology that assures you at least promises to give you anything that is permanent no only impermanent. They are proposing something material, very human, very transitory. And there is nothing permanent in none of those ideologies that have been invented by the human mind. The only ideology, which is not in fact an ideology, it is a faith. It is believing in Christ. And that is the hope. Hope is to realize what we desire. We cannot have any desire fulfilled unless we surrender ourselves totally to God's mercy. In fact, Saint, I call him Padre Pio always. And I don't call him Saint Pio because for me, he's more lovable, more dear, close to me when I call him Padre Pio, whom I love so much. And he says, our past, we have to surrender to God's mercy. Our present today, we have to surrender to God's love. Tomorrow, our future, we have to surrender to God's divine providence. Our hope is in our midst. It is only in Him we have all our needs satisfied, all our desires fulfilled. It is only in Him that we have learned to bear up with all our situations and to know that guys god has given to us all that we need only in jesus let us look at him let us yearn to look at him and we look at him to embrace him to receive him because he is our hope in him alone we have all that we need accomplished close walk by his side that we are awakened that we are inspired I am weak but thou art strong yes 
Jesus, Lord. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. You are always strong. I should fear nothing. I don't feel I am weak. I don't feel that I am disgusted because I walk with you, walk by your side. Just a close walk with thee. Let us pray in the divine presence of the Savior of the universe, the Savior of the humanity, the healer, the redeemer, the Savior. He is all that we desire. He is all that we hope in life to walk by his side in the book of Proverbs chapter 2 it teaches us that learn what I teach you my son and never forget what I tell you to do today listen to what is wise and try to understand it yes beg for knowledge Plead for insight. Look for it as hard as you would for silver and some hidden treasure. If you do, you will know what it means to fear the Lord and you will succeed in learning about God. It is the Lord who gives wisdom. From Him come knowledge and understanding he provides help and protection for righteous honest men and women he protects those who treat others fairly and guards those who are devoted to him we are a fa people of faith we are a people of a devotion, a great devotion, trust, faith in Him who is Lord for all eternity. He is the only hope, our hope. Santo Mergo. Sacro Mento Venere Morce Sense 
de cielo persistiéis omne delectamentum in se habente oremos Deus cui nobis sub sacramento mirabili passionis tue memoria reliquisti tribu equesimus sita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari Ut redemptionis sue fructum et nobis jugiter sensiamus, cui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculorum. 